All right, well, moving on now, Wednesdays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm women's group, Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. Joining us now is Paula Peterson from the Waverly area. We saw you at the Lancaster County Super Fair. You were busy with fun at the farm. That yeah. went well? Yeah, it went well. I'd say my guess is between six to 700 kids came through mm -hmm. in wow. the four days. Oh, so. good. You looked busy every time I looked <laughs> that way. It, it was amazing. It's, and I've got great kids that come in and help me and I get kids from Waverly, Norris and Raymond Central and adults all over the place that Unfortunately, if you know me, there's a chance you're going to get invited <laughs> in at some point or another. Right. <laughs> and so now some of your exhibits go to the Cass County Fair? Yeah, okay. some of my exhibits are at the Cass County Fair, and the, you can find them there in Weeping Water till Sunday. Perfect. Okay. Well, you're here with a recipe a little bit later. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to that. And you're talking about food ingredient substitutions. Yeah, we're getting back into the, trying to roll out of school, going, or going back into school out of summer, getting ready for harvest. So there are a lot of times there are things that you're baking and you all go, oh, I don't have this. Mm -hmm. Well, egg is one of them, but there's some really fun substitutes. You can either use avocado, part, a quarter cup avocado, yogurt, um, applesauce. That's the one I usually have on hand, or yogurt that you can switch out um, instead of an egg. Milk is the other one. Um, with milk, if you're going to trade to an almond or a dairy milk or something like that, you got to keep me, don't get a flavored one. Mm. Yeah, because if you're trying to make gravy you might not want vanilla flavored almond milk <laughs> yeah, <true>. uh -huh. <laughs> um, brown sugar is a really easy one because if you have white sugar you just add molasses mm -hmm. uh, cut back your liquids and then um, the other one that I have used on for stuff of mine if I didn't have honey you can use actual corn syrup or vice versa um, if you don't have corn enough corn sup syrup you can mix it in and I've mixed half and half if I like need a cup of corn syrup for peanut brittle mm -hmm. you, c you can take a half a cup of honey half a cup of corn syrup and it blends together and it will work mm -hmm. um, the sh uh, shortening it straight across the board you can do butter uh, lard or Crisco vegetable shortening I'm and if you I have recipes for cookies that call for both and I just use a whole two cup of butter if I need it whatever I have on hand but don't be afraid to mix up your food Mm -hmm. You know, make do with what you've got. We're all busy. We don't have time to, you know, stop what we're doing and go to the grocery store. So even if the grocery store is close by, yeah, sometimes you just don't want to yeah, go up there. You do. You gotta get creative. <laughs> have fun with your food. That's what we're all about. Yeah, that really is true. And I mean, you're helping save a little money that way. And yeah, and you're just kind of being a little more studious and careful with all your food. And, and yeah. that's a good idea. So yeah. yeah, thank you. Very good. And what's your recipe? That you we're have? making little um, celery critters for your back to school lunch boxes oh. or an after school snack. The hot peanut butter or cream cheese and the peanut mm -hmm. butter is that extra prop, pop of protein that'll get them through the day. All right. Sounds good. It's that time of year. All right. I know, I know already. <laughs> Thank you, Paula.